Getty. Being a bank customer and navigating everyday financial transactions can bring you into contact with basic banking terms and plenty of financial jargon. Do you know the difference between April and APY? What about a CD, certificate of deposit, and a money market account? Here are some commonly used banking terms you should know to be better informed about your financial life. Glossary of basic banking terms. Account. A type of financial property or financial obligation that is held and owned under your name. When you open a financial account, whether it's a checking account, savings account, CD or money market account, you have certain rights and responsibilities as an account holder. ACH, Automated Clearing House. ACH is a type of electronic funds transfer system that operates between banks, businesses, and individual consumers in a nationwide network. Banks use ACH payments to move money between them. When you sign up for direct deposit of your paycheck at work, that money often moves into your bank account via ACH. April, Annual Percentage Rate the total annualized cost of a loan. When you borrow money, whether it's via a credit card, car loan or another loan, the lender is required to disclose the April, so you understand the full cost of borrowing the money. APY, Annual Percentage Yield. The annual yield earned on a deposit account, such as a savings, money market or CD account. Savers can use APY as one of several factors to help determine which savings options are the best. ATM, Automated Teller Machine. A convenient location for basic banking transactions, such as withdrawing cash, depositing checks, or making balance inquiries. Many banks offer access to a network of fee-free ATMs. Available Balance. The amount of money you have in your bank account that is available to spend or withdraw. If you have recently deposited a check or made purchases, those transactions may still be marked as pending and may not be included in your available balance. Cash equivalents. Highly liquid accounts holding funds that can be accessed immediately without penalty or risk of loss. Savings accounts. Checking accounts and money market accounts insured by the FDIC Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation at banks and the NCUA National Credit Union Administration at credit unions are generally considered safe, liquid accounts to hold your cash. Certificate of Deposit, CD. A type of time deposit account, generally insured by the FDIC at banks and the NCUA at credit unions where customers can put their savings to earn a yield. There are many types of CDS, but most require that you lock up your money for a minimum term, such as six months or one year. The APY that you can earn on a CD depends on the bank, the term and other factors. Check. A type of financial instrument that instructs the check writer's bank to make a payment to the recipient indicated on the check. Some people write paper checks, and other people use their bank's online bill pay feature to issue electronically generated checks. Checking account. Your checking account, sometimes referred to simply as a bank account, is your home base for making financial transactions. The account can be interest-bearing or non-interest-bearing, depending on the bank or credit union. Compound interest. When you save money in an interest-earning account, such as a savings account or CD, compound interest is the powerful financial effect that helps your savings grow over time. With compound interest, your savings multiply over time by earning interest on top of the principal plus interest, year after year. Conditions Also known as terms and conditions, this is the fine print of a bank account or loan agreement. Make sure you read and understand the implications of your financial accounts and obligations. Credit, a credit history, a credit score. 
Credit generally refers to your ability to borrow, the willingness of banks and other lenders to extend a loan to you. If you have a strong credit history, that means you have a proven track record of paying bills on time and paying your debts. Your credit score is a measure of creditworthiness based, in part, on your credit history. Having a higher credit score can help you qualify for a lower interest on loans, better credit terms, larger loan amounts and higher credit limits. Debit card. This is a payment method that's connected to your checking account. Debit cards work similarly to credit cards and can be accepted at the same points of sale, but the money that you spend gets deducted from your checking account balance. Direct deposit. A payment method where people can sign up to have paychecks automatically deposited into their account without having to endorse and deposit a check. Many banks offer reduced fees to customers who have recurring direct deposits. Electronic Funds Transfer, EFT A method of transferring funds between banks, businesses, or individual people. Two types of EFT are the Automated Clearing House, ACH, Network, and Wire Transfers. Electronic Signatures Under US federal law, electronic signatures, or e-signatures, have the same legal validity as signatures on paper contracts. Online contracts may have the same legal status as paper contracts. Endorsement To cash or deposit a check, you must sign your name on the back. This is known as an endorsement. Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FDIC The FDIC is a federal government agency that helps ensure the stability of the US financial system and protects bank customers. If you deposit your money into an FDIC-insured bank account, your money is protected up to $250,000 per depositor for each account ownership category in the event of a bank failure. Fraudulent charges. Many banks have strong protections against fraudulent transactions. If a suspicious transaction occurs on your account, your bank may prevent the payment from going through until they talk with you to confirm that the purchase is valid. Grace period. A certain amount of time when a borrower can delay making a payment on a loan or credit card account without paying a penalty or incurring interest charges. It can also refer to the period after the maturity date of a certificate of deposit when you can withdraw funds without penalty. Investments. Investments are financial assets that are purchased and sold by investors with the goal of earning a return on investment ROI. Common types of investments include stocks, bonds, mutual funds, index funds, exchange-traded funds and real estate. There are also various alternative investments like gold, commodities, fine art, wine and more. Unlike bank savings and checking accounts, investments are not thick insured and have a risk of loss. Joint account an account with two or more owners that own the account equally, with the same rights and obligations of using the account. For example, many married couples have a joint checking account that allows them both to write checks and make deposits into the same shared account. Maturity date. This is the date of expiration for the contractual obligation of a financial instrument. For example, Certificates of deposit have a maturity date that depends on the length of the CD term. When the CD matures, you have the option to withdraw the money. Some banks and credit unions also allow you to roll it into a new CD or enable the CD to renew automatically. Money market account. A type of thick insured deposit account that generally pays interest. Money market accounts tend to have higher minimum balance requirements than a typical savings account. While it is a type of savings deposit, a money market account also may offer features usually found with a checking account, such as a debit card or check writing privileges. Online bank. Online banks, also called digital or internet banks, operate primarily via the internet. You can manage your accounts at an online bank from a computer or mobile device from anywhere at any time. 
Overdraft. Something that occurs when you make a purchase with your debit card or write a check for an amount that exceeds your checking account's available balance. Many bank accounts offer overdraft protection to help avoid overdraft fees. Some banks don't charge overdraft fees at all. Savings account. A savings account may have been your first experience with the banking industry. You have a number of options for where to stow your savings safely, both at banks and credit unions. Solvency. When banks have enough money to cover potential losses, banks are expected to maintain a sufficient level of capital to remain solvent and avoid failure. The FDIC and other federal regulators work with banks to maintain standards for solvency. Wire transfers. Another type of electronic funds transfer. A wire transfer typically involves paying a fee, depending on whether the transfer is incoming or outgoing and domestic or international.